My name is Emily Demarle. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Florida in the Entomology and Nematology Department. My research involves the study of pest mites and their integrated management in cups. CUPS is the acronym for Citrus Under Protective Screen. Would you like to know more about my research? Then follow me. Welcome to our experimental CUPS here at the Indian River Research and Education Center in Fort Pierce, Florida. This trail was set up in 2013. It includes four CUPS and four open-air plots, also called control. We are evaluating two rootstock, US 897 and Sour Orange, as well as two planting systems, in-ground and potted trees. But you may wonder why we are trying to produce citrus in an enclosed system. Since the appearance of the citrus greening here in Florida in 2005, the citrus production has decreased by 50%. Citrus greening is a bacterial disease. It is transmitted by an insect, the Asian citrus seed. So far, no cure has been found. Several solutions are being investigated. One of them is to grow citrus in cups. The presence of the screen prevents the Asian citrus seed from being in contact with the trees, and it allows the production of HLB free fruits. However, some arthropods are able to enter through the mesh. They infest the tree, damage the fruit, and lower the marketability. The most common pests found in cups are mites. Because it's often hotter and more humid in cups, this might affect the biology of mites. For instance, when temperatures are high, mite development is shorter and the number of generations per year increase. The good news is that not all mites are bad. We also found some beneficial mites. Beneficial mites are predatory mites. Specifically, we found mites from the family Phytozeidae. Phytozeid mites are good predators of small insects and pest mites. To understand how mites behave in such particular conditions that are of cups, I wanted to uh, sample both harmful mites, pest mites and beneficial mites, predatory mites, in cups and control. To sample mites, we use two sampling methods. The first sampling method is called the tap sample. The second sampling method uses a hand lens. We identify two species of pest mite in cups. The citrus rust mite, which damage fruits, and these damage are called rusting or short skin. And the citrus red mites, which mainly damage the upper side of the leaves causing damage called stippling. We found that population of rust mites reach high densities in fruit in both cups and control, but there were no significant difference between the two systems. So here we are in the control or open air, where we have trees infested with HLB or citrus greening. For the citrus red mite, we found higher population in cups compared to control, also called open air. Regarding the predatory mites, population were low throughout the year, except in spring, where we notice a peak of increase. The increase of predatory mites coincides with the blooming period of citrus. 
Indeed, predatory mites use pollen as alternative food to increase their population. To identify mites to the species level, we need to collect them with the help of a camel brush and then store them in alcohol. Now let's go to the lab to learn how to prepare and mount mites for identification. 